I'm more than willing to bet that you woke up this morning and your first thought was, gee, I wonder what the characters from Dune order at the coffee shop. Whether you've read the book or whether you've seen the movie, I'm sure you've just been dying to know. How are the characters from Dune just like us? If they were to grab that morning brew, what would they order? And what does that say about their personality? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Miscellaneous Gab. And on this channel, I like to tell stories about stories. One thing that I sort of can't let go is whenever I get really into a world or a universe, I tend to make those characters real to me. Today, we're gonna continue the fun. And we're going to get into the realm of guesswork. This is nowhere in the novel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you let me know in the comments what your coffee order would be and what that says about you. Starting off strong with Paul Atreides. Kwisa Tadarak, the Lisan Al Gaib. I would love to see the baristas write Lisan Al Gaib on the coffee cup. Paul Atreides, he comes off to me as someone who doesn't do caffeine. He comes off to me as someone who maybe was prescribed ADHD medication at some point, but never really got on the coffee drinking coffee train. I could see him enjoying a nice hot cocoa, a nice cinnamon steamer, maybe would spring for a pumpkin spice latte when the season presented itself. You know the guy or the girl who just doesn't do caffeine? I think that's Paul. Next, let's talk Lady Jessica. So Lady Jessica doesn't need coffee. She doesn't need a pick me up. She can make herself as hype or as calm, mostly calm as she desires because she She's a Benny Gesserit. Lady Jessica, therefore, will be ordering in herbal tea, a nice, relaxing chamomile, perhaps a hibiscus, all about that equilibrium. She is in control of her body. Next, let's talk about Duke Leto Atreides. So the Atreides family is thought to descend from ancient Greeks, Mediterranean, bullfighting, etc. I can really see Duke Leto Atreides kicking off his morning with a nice, strong espresso, no nonsense, bold and fierce like his leadership style. I imagine that he's quite proud of his coffee and he might even take the time to brew his own coffee rather than have one of his servants or many staff do it for him. May he rest in peace would very much be the type of guy with a very un breakable morning routine that certainly involves a strong espresso. Vladimir Harkonnen, Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, I'm sure you could have guessed, he's going for the trenta. He is going for the largest size. He's going for the frappe, that caramel crunch ribbon frappe, extra pump of caramel, whipped cream. He's getting a Danish on the side. He might even grab a breakfast sandwich on the side. He is definitely that person that makes the baristas go, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? We can't put 47 pumps of cinnamon dolce syrup in this. The man is a glutton and he has no self-control whatsoever. Stilgar. Stilgar, Stilgar, Stilgar. Stilgar is a complicated man. I imagine Stilgar to be a freshly brewed mint tea kind of man. One, because I imagine that would be one of the most hydrating drinks. And as a Fremen, he simply cannot dehydrate himself anymore. This also is what they drink in Jordan. One of the prominent filming locations for Dune, at least Dune part one is Wadi Rum. It is the desert in Jordan. I have visited there. Incredible, incredible place. One amazing thing that you have a lot there is the mint tea. Due to it being a Muslim country, alcohol isn't served as plentifully as other countries. So the drink of choice in many fine establishments is mint tea. I could really see Stilgar just lapping up, lapping up that mint tea. Okay, Gurney Halleck. Gurney Halleck has his part warrior, part poet. He has a rough exterior, but a heart of gold, which is why I could see him brewing up a strong dark roast and maybe adding a little splash of whiskey. He doesn't need any Kahlua, no cream, no sweetness. Keep it simple. Cheney, I could see having a spiced chai latte in America, because we bastardize many things. We have the chai drink that you can order at a coffee shop, which is quite sweet, quite milky, and full of a pre-made spice. But chai, in, in India, chai literally means tea. They tend to brew it with milk, sugar, cardamom, cloves, a, a range of wonderful aromatic spices. I really see Chani appreciating that type of chai, spiced, a little creamy, a bit sweet. And I really see that as Chani's personality. She is spicy and she's sweet. 
the real book Cheney. <laughs> the movie Cheney is a bit more spicy. Now I put Thufir Hawa on here because he was done a bit dirty in the movie, i.e. he was completely cut. We didn't even know if he died or lived and we never heard from him again. Thufir Hawa is a very important character in the book. Sacrifices himself for Paula, is willing to die for that man. And I see Thufir Hawa being a cappuccino kind of guy. Something perfectly balanced between espresso and milk. The right ratio every time. Not too creamy, not too bold. That represents the balanced nature of his mentat personality. He doesn't want to dip too far into the plain black coffee as that might be too acidic, nor does he need any fluff with whipped cream and too much sugar. So I really see him as being an unsweetened, perfectly balanced cappuccino kind of man. Fade Ralpha Harkonnen is always going to be a wild card. I can really see him being that guy who always orders iced coffee, no matter if it's zero degrees or a hundred degrees. Perhaps this is a nod towards his cold and chilling personality, or perhaps he's just a guy that doesn't always make sense to us. I can see him getting a caramel macchiato. I can see him getting a dragon fruit refresher. You really never know what you're gonna get, but I do think it would be sweet. And I do think it would be kind of not on brand for him if he's not drinking blood. Reb and mother Gaius Helen Moheim would certainly be a matcha girly. I imagine her being quite deliberate in the preparation and quite specific with the quality of the matcha. Actually, she's not gonna go to a coffee shop in general. She's gonna make it at home. She also doesn't want anyone to poison her. She needs something powerful but complicated and also unassuming, which pretty much defines the Bene Gesserit to a T. She only drinks it hot, never ice, and always prepared with meticulous precision. What did you think of these choices? Did these selections make your mouth water and want to hop in the car and run to your nearest coffee shop? What is your coffee order? How do you like your coffee prepared? And what do you think that says about you? If you liked this video and want me to create another about the Dune characters or any characters, from our favorite movie universes, perhaps what they order at the bar, then make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back in your feeds very soon. Love you guys as always, and we'll talk very soon. Bye.